time for us to, since it is Tuesday, our Travel Tuesday, it's time to go traveling. And we're heading to the northernmost province of South Africa, the province that borders the countries of Botswana, Zimbabwe and Mozambique. Malaria is a life-threatening disease caused by parasites that are transmitted to people through the bites of infected female Anopheles mosquitoes and something which needs to be considered when choosing a travel destination, especially when you have children. Now we're happy to welcome back into studio Lauren Manuel McShane from thetravelmanual.com for our malaria-free travel series. Good morning to you, Lauren. Good morning. Great to have Thanks you for back. having me. Great to have you back. Um, so let's, I, th I think it might be a question that most people think is self-explanatory, mm -hmm. but why is it so important? important to consider and to think about malaria when you're choosing your travel and your holiday destination? Well, I think as adults, you know, it's a no-brainer. If you're going to a malaria risk area, you take the necessary prophylaxis, you deal with whatever possible side effects there are. Mm -hmm. um, but when you have kids, especially kids uh, younger than five, there are a lot of different choices that you that you have and mm. a lot more risks you know so together with your your pediatrician you have to weigh up you know can i give a really young child or a toddler the necessary medication will they even be able to swallow the tablets um versus not giving them medication at all and yes. you know kind of going with bite prevention um and yeah taking a risk it's yeah. a big risk and of course it could turn um, a, a holiday a dream holiday into a nightmare yes of course because you know you have to stay um, stay in at night you know you have to cover them constantly cover them with mosquito repellent mm -hmm. uh, and if you don't have you know the extra protection of the medication I think you yeah you get a little paranoid yeah <laughs> I, I can I totally understand that so now beyond yes. being malaria free the travel destination that we're talking about today is the the Waterberg yes what is it that makes the Waterberg or the Waterberg such an attractive travel destination oh well if you are a bush lover yeah. um Limpopo and the Waterberg in particular was just it's an ideal bush location so you know you have the, the usual game drives and horse riding safaris and nights, you know, next to um, next to the fire, oh, wow. um, and you know, storytelling. Oh, the fire. totally! And you know, you can hear well, where we were. You you could hear horses galloping while you having your dinner in the evening, and rhinos kind of wow. missioning past. So it really is, you know, you get a lot of that bush magic uh, in the Waterberg. Fantastic. So, yeah. What are some of your top travel tips of traveling to this corner of the world? So firstly, I would say that you can't miss out on Ant's Nest, which is perfect for families. It's actually the one place where we could do game drives with um, with a child. Yeah. Um, and horse riding safaris, as I mentioned. So to be in the bush, um, you know, outside of a vehicle and on a horse just brings such a new experience wow. because you're so close to the animals, you know, and you you missioning where where a car can't go, um, and quite far, which is very, very special. Yeah. Uh, and then, yes, uh, and you and you get the private, you get the private dinners. You know, it Ooh. could just be you and your loved one if the kids are being looked after, and yeah. And uh, that was only one. That was only one of the things you see, that I actually want to tell you. Already there was, I'm, so, I'm, there was so much in that yes, one. It felt like the whole experience just, was, itself. Go ahead, the, please tell us more. more. Tell us more. Uh, so if you, um, aside from, you know, even if you don't stay there, I would say go and visit. Find out more about the Save the, the Waterberg Rhino campaign. Okay. Um, and it's just wonderful to see how the entire Waterberg community are actually pooling together to save um, their rhinos. You know, they're using poison injecting into the horns mm -hmm. they all you know kind of teaming together especially on that reserve so go and check it out and meet the rhinos and go and also see the sand rock art um Paintings. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I understand that reserve. also the, the, the UNESCO Waterberg Biosphere Reserve. Yes, Tell us more about that. Yes, I would say that you have to go. So, um, and you can just check out art that's obviously been there for, you know, people say thousands of years, even longer. Yeah. And yeah, do some of the trails and. Yeah. Sounds absolutely Enjoy. fantastic. Enjoy. So, yeah, anything, uh, you know, kind of last minute that you need to uh, consider while traveling to Limpopo? So, in the Waterberg, uh, you often, most of the game reserves are quite far away from okay. any of the towns. So, make sure that you always have, you know, you have good directions from um, the lodge as mm -hmm. well as using Google Maps because yes. you could quite literally disappear <laughs> into, the, <laughs> into the bush. Um, keep their number with you so that if you do get lost, you get stuck, you have some backup. And of course, just because there's no malaria, it doesn't mean you don't have to wear uh, mosquito repellent. So mm. 
keep that keep that in mind and keep covered, especially at night. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. I haven't good. been to Limpopo in such a long time, so it was thank my you very first much trip, for actually. really. It was. And it sounds phenomenal. like it was, it was so a very it. enjoyable one indeed. Yeah. So thank you very much to Lauren for joining us. Always cool. a pleasure thank having you. her here with us, and we look forward to our next week's destination, where we'll be traveling to the tropical paradise of the Seychelles.